Japanese learning tips with Koichi. Hey, Koichi. Hi. Do you have any <laughs> language learning tips for the YouTube viewers today? Uh, sure. Um, all right. So here's one that I've been thinking about uh, because I've been working on Eto Eto, and we've been inviting people to the advanced section of Eto Eto, which requires a lot of Japanese reading. I've been thinking about and researching like how people go about doing reading practice for a language that they're learning, and I ran across something called the uh, I think it's called the first page syndrome, but I can't quite remember the name. So if it's an actual thing, sorry about that. But the idea is that the the first page of anything that you read is is really, really difficult, like so much more difficult than any other page if you keep on reading. And a lot of people, they start going through the first page and they think, oh my gosh, this is too, uh, this is too difficult for me. This is obviously too advanced, so I better stop reading and I better stop practicing and find something easier or just not do anything at all. And that's a shame. So on the, the first page syndrome, there's a couple of things that you can do and all of them involve just like kind of gum running through the first page or just getting through the first page no matter what. But uh, to make it easier, uh, what you can do is uh, two things. Uh, one of them is to, when you're doing reading practice, is to choose uh, the same topics of things. So for example, most of my reading practice, I do a lot of reading about kendo because it's just something interesting to me. You know, whenever I start a new article or new book or something like that, it's always the same topic. It's always about kendo. And the reason this is good is because you, uh, you run into a lot of the same vocabulary words, which means that even though you're starting something new, you're starting a new first page, it's, it's a lot easier than if you're starting a new topic which has completely different vocabulary words. So a lot of it is pretty familiar, so that means there's less looking things up uh, and there's less, uh, you know, just less trouble getting through it. The other thing you can do is if you're starting a new piece of reading after you've finished another one, is to stick with the same author. Even though the author might not use the same vocabulary words, they're gonna have the same voice, they're gonna use a lot of the same grammar patterns, and basically it just makes it more familiar uh, so that if you start something new on that first page, it won't be as difficult uh, as if you were to uh, you know, start a new article or a new book from a different author who has a completely different voice, completely different uh, grammar patterns. Now, if you're really smart, you'll try to read things that are written by the same author and, the same, and on the same topic. So if you're really lucky, you can do that. Uh, which means you get a lot of uh, familiar writing, which makes it a lot easier to read. A lot of people are probably wondering like, oh, okay, but if you do new things, you're gonna get a lot of new vocabulary and a lot more new grammar, uh, new voice and things like that. Uh, and that's true, but I think that, you know, even if you are reading something that's more familiar to you, that's easier to read, you're still learning a lot. And I think it makes it easier to actually learn those things, uh, actually learn the new grammar that you run across, uh, the new vocabulary, because they are, less common, which means that uh, they're a little bit more special, which means that you're going to actually learn them instead of be overwhelmed by all the, the newness. The reason this is important is because if you can get through the first page of uh, a new piece of writing, then you're much more likely to, to finish the whole thing. And the more that you read, uh, the more comfortable you get with the language, the more patterns you start seeing, you know, the more vocabulary that you learn because you know, new vocabulary is going to be coming up, but it's going to be repeating throughout the, the piece that you're reading and uh, you're gonna learn, learn those words just because they come up a lot. So I think, basically, I think reading is really, really important, uh, but I think a lot of people quit way too early or they sell themselves short about what they're able to, to actually use as a resource for reading. But if you know about the first page, page syndrome and uh, if you can st stick, uh, stick with the same topics or the same authors, it's gonna be a lot, a lot easier to actually, or to, to actually use the, the reading as a resource to get better at Japanese or whatever language you're learning. Uh, so that's my tip for today. Uh, that's what I've been thinking about this week, and I, I hope it helps.